Welcome to the channel. This is Jay Mancini where we keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. So guys, if you're new to the business and you want to know what it means to get paid by the load or by the ton, I'm going to be explaining to you what you need to know to make sure you know how you're going to get paid when it comes down to getting paid by the ton or getting paid by the load. All right, guys. So getting paid by the load, what does it mean? It means you're going to get paid for hauling a specific material to a specific location at a specific rate, meaning from point A to point B. So guys, keep in mind, there's different materials that you're gonna be able to haul. It could be dirt, it could be sand, it could be gravel, and it could be asphalt, right? So that's the first thing that you need to know. You need to know what kind of material you're gonna haul. The next thing you need to know, guys, is how much you're gonna get paid. So in this case, guys, let's just say you're gonna get paid $100 a load. So we're gonna go ahead and role play. The next thing you need to know is you need to know the mileage or the distance you're going to travel. In this case, let's just say you're gonna travel 20 miles or 40 miles round trip. By the way, guys, this also allows you to figure out how much fuel expenses you're gonna have. And if you don't already know, we did a video on how to calculate fuel costs right here. The next thing you need to know, guys, is how long will it take you to do the round trip, meaning go from point A to point B, back to point A, right? Let's just say it's gonna take us 30 minutes each way, point A to point B, and then point B back to point A, so that's one hour, and that's including, don't forget, loading and dumping. So now, guys, what that does is it allows us to figure out how much money we're making an hour. So if we know we're going from point A to point B, round trip, 30 minutes, that's one hour, right? One hour, and we do one load, if we're getting paid $100 a load, that means we're making $100 in one hour. So guys, now that you know that you made $100 in one load and it took you one hour, what it does, it allows you to also figure out about how much money you're gonna make throughout the day. So with that being said, let's say you're gonna work eight hours and we're making the assumption that we did one full load or one round trip in one hour and you're gonna do eight loads in eight hours, now you know you're gonna make about $800 for the day. Or if you're working nine hours and you do nine loads, that's 900. Or if you work 10 hours and you do 10 loads, that's $1,000 a day. And that's how you can figure out how many loads you're gonna make, how much money you're gonna make, and how getting paid by the load works. All right, guys, so getting paid by the ton is essentially the same thing as getting paid by the load. So let me go ahead and explain to you what that means. You're still gonna get paid to haul from point A to point B. You're still gonna get paid to haul a specific material. You still need to know the mileage you're gonna travel round trip, and you still need to know how much time it's gonna take you round trip. So what's the difference? Now here's the difference. Instead of getting paid 100 bucks a load, let's say the contractor calls you and he says, hey, Johnny Trucking, we're gonna pay you $6 a ton, right? And you say, okay. Now let's just assume that your truck, Mr. Johnny Trucking, hauls 18 tons. So now you simply multiply 18 tons on each load times $6 a ton, that gives you a $108 a load. So again, it's essentially the same thing. The only difference is now you're getting paid by the capacity, the amount of tonnage the truck can haul. So once again, let's just say your truck hauls 18 tons and the contractor's paying you $6 a ton. You multiply 18 tons times $6 a ton. Now you're making $108 a ton, essentially, for the same exact load. Now there's one thing I want you to keep in mind, guys, and I've talked about this in several videos. It really depends on the size of your truck and how much tons you can haul, right? So you may be hauling 18 tons, but remember a bigger truck may haul 20 or 22 tons or 25 tons. So in this scenario, when you're getting paid by the tons, of course it will benefit for you to have a bigger truck that can haul more tons. And by the way, guys, don't forget that the amount of tons you can haul also depends on the road and bridge formula and the weight limits or weight permits in your state. All right, guys, one important thing I want you to know is that contractors can also ask you to give them a price, meaning they may call you and say, Mr. Johnny Trucking, how much would you charge me to haul from point A to point B instead of giving you a price? So it is very important that before you give them a price, you cover everything that we have talked about. One thing I want you to also know is don't be shy. If there's any doubts, make sure you ask the contractor questions before you give them your final quote. Overall, guys, getting paid by the ton or getting paid by the load is a very common way in the dump truck industry. And the reason why, guys, contractors usually 
the way they go about doing their estimates when it comes to a job is by wanting to find out what is the total cost it would cost them to move whatever material they need to get moved. Meaning, if they have a thousand yards or a thousand tons on, in point A and they wanna get it moved to point B, they need to know overall what the grand total cost would be for hauling that material, no matter how many trucks they're gonna hire to move all that material, right? So that's the reason why most contractors are gonna pay you by the load or pay you by the ton. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you found this video valuable. You already know, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, Make sure you comment below. This is Jay Mancini. We'll see you on the next one.